Welcome to Venator Chronicles Podcast. I'm Ethan Taylor. And I'm Dustin Jelly. Our hope is to inspire new and old hunters alike. We hope you can join us on this journey of lessons that we have, are, and will learn through the world of hunting. <coughs> oh my goodness, the amount of dust on these <coughs> microphones. Oh. Uh. Hard it's to breathe. Dustier than me. Oh, because oh. we call you Dusty. Yeah. Hey. hey, dad jokes. Uh, we got plenty of coming them. in hot. Yeah, we've curated a bunch of dad jokes in our absence a, yeah, our, for what, everybody. Two months of absence. Yeah, yeah, oh, that's about it. Man. Two months, a little over two months actually. Yeah. So, so let's start out by maybe just talking about that briefly because yeah. so, that seems fair yeah, to everybody. For the, for the like three people that have stuck around and oh. wondered where we went. <laughs> yeah, hey, we, we've had questions. we appreciate you guys. <laughs> yeah, that's true. You didn't forget. Yeah. Um, yeah, I guess so. What, uh, two months ago for me, pretty, some pretty intense life events had kind of occurred. And so then, um, I mean, when we started doing the podcast, kind of the idea was, um, our hopes are high for where it can go and what it can become, but also both of us having pretty busy family lives and kids Mm -hmm. and, um, smoking hot wives that we got to think about and care about. Yep. Um, smoking hot pregnant wives. we, We knew that we'd have to have some flexibility. And so for, Two months for about a month, I was kind of out of commission as far as being able to do podcasts. And yep. then um, I'd say what you probably the last month or so, yeah, you were kind of out of the game a little bit for podcasts, if that's yeah, fair to say. Which we'll we'll get into in my uh, my emotional breakdowns. Yeah, so. yeah. <laughs> so that uh, that very uh, briefly yeah. goes over the the absence. We're probably looking yeah. to tell. Well, the, you almost died. So yeah, there's there's, there's that. Well, at least I thought I was going <laughs> to yeah, die. You thought so, you were yeah, die. well, I mean, probably there's just a overdose. couple people who know the story that are probably yeah. la- chuckling about it. Probably but, overdosed on which is fair. Monopsic night. <clears throat> oh man, who got me started on that? You, I you, have no clue. You didn't. I don't know. You didn't tell me you're not supposed to snort it. I didn't tell you to snort it. Well, you know what? I mean, <laughs> I, I thought it was a given. Uh, evidently, you're not supposed I to was, cut lines. Yeah, I, evidently it. I was way yeah. off. So. <laughs> but oh, we're here, dude. We and, are here. It's and good we to have, be back. Oh, it's so good. And we have... I almost forgot how to set all this stuff up. I know. We were struggling getting all these things going again. Yeah. Um, but man, we have... We've, we've had, had a lot happen in the last we two months. We have had a lot happen. Because we haven't stopped... Hunting, and that's the other thing too to mention is um, we've had a few opportunities to get together and record, yeah. and we've been like, hey, the options I'm either hunting it's, or I'm it's recording. Hunting it's or like, recording. Well, well, it's hunting what you, season. The, yep, it's hunting season, and let's uh, let's create some stories, yeah. some content, and also, yeah. I mean, that is kind of our primary that's is whole purpose is of hunting. why we podcast <laughs> yeah. is because of the hunting. <laughs> yeah, so if we no, stop doing that, versa. we we imagine we'll get a little less interesting for people. Yeah. Um, yeah, man. Oh, so where well, do, where do, where do we want to start? Man, it's been a busy couple of months. I think we just, uh, why don't we just start kind of with our, uh, our little, uh, two day weekend hunting trip that we yeah, took we together. Had a, we had a two day expedition. Yeah. Which, which that, that, that was amazing that that even worked out because we were originally supposed to do that like a at month the beginning earlier, right? of October. And then you had a bunch of life stuff on. Was that when you almost died? Yeah. Yeah. So yep. you almost died. And left me a podcast widow. Yeah. And uh, <laughs> I'm just glad I didn't leave. Because yeah, an, actual, it, an had, actual widow. Had, yeah. Because <laughs> I mean that. I mean that would have been sad for her, but even worse for me. Because mm-hmm. then I probably would have had to. You know, would have been Seth and I. Yeah. You know, and and, and, just, and I had not taken out any, any yeah. policies for our relationship. Yeah, yeah. So, so you would, I would have been, been left really yeah, left alone, high and dry. dry. Yeah. So it would have been horrible. But hey, you're you're still alive. And then so we we ended up having to move the hunting trip from the beginning of October and fortunately worked out to the beginning of November. Yep. Yep. And so I don't know, why don't you kind of give a breakdown of what we were going out, what, why, when, how. Yeah. Where, yeah. So, um, so the Nicolette, Nicolette, is it Schwamigan, Nicolette forest? Something like that. might that. be, I think I know there's three, it's either Nicolette, Schwamigan, no, Schwamigan forest. Anyway, we call it Schwamigan forest. Um, what 105,000 acres. And then there's even more public acres attached to that. Um, and that is up in kind of Northern Wisconsin, right up. I mean, basically about as North as you can go in Wisconsin, uh, near, near Bayfield, um, superiors a little bit more to the 
uh, north, what would be the north uh, west, kind of northwest, yeah, just straight west. Yeah. Um, so anyway, uh, a lot of a lot of acreage, and it's an area that I've been to quite a few times. And I'd never been there. For I mean, we, this is what we, we call we dubbed it the uh, the Wis- Midwest Western no, we called hunt. It, we called it the Wisconsin <laughs> Western hunt. <laughs> And the reason we called it that is because, I mean, how far do you think we can see in some of those areas? A lot further than normal. Yeah, so <laughs> that's like, fair. Because we, we were are, talking about, at one point with Seth, we were talking about glassing knobs, and, and we were making jokes about being able to glass 40 yards. Yeah. <laughs> you know, Wisconsin. <laughs> no, here you could, you could, you could, uh, you could glass, glass a mile. Yeah, there more. was. Yep. And so um, it's uh, it's got a bunch of logging roads on it. I'd been there in prior years with some different people, and... Um, and we had hunted it. We had done some, um, some coyote hunting out there as well. And so it's these big rolling hills, um, and you really can get some really good vantage points. Yeah. Um, and, and you, in your years past of being out there deer hunting, you'd gone out there and kind of did a spot and stock style of hunting. Yeah. And yeah. And being that you're able to glass. And so we went out with that expectation and hope that we'd go out there we'd drive around and, mm-hmm hit up some of these high high areas and then mm-hmm. do some spot and stock and you know do our quote unquote western style hunt. Yeah, well we started I mean it didn't take us long before we were kind of mocking of like me being like I have seen deer here, seen deer here, seen deer here. Yeah, we here. Yeah, we kept driving cuz we didn't see like, any deer. <laughs> oh man, you totally ruined it. But yeah, we'd be driving <laughs> out, and yeah, the, the the big ruin is ultimately we went out and as we're driving around, yeah, you'd be like, oh, yeah, I've seen deer here. I've seen deer here. I saw deer here last year. It was like every place we drove, you were pretty much me like, yeah, I saw deer here. Yeah. And not once during our time of driving do we see a single deer. Yeah. We're out in the open. And yeah. that was and that was for me definitely, it took me, what, a day? Day and it a took, half. It, it took probably. A day and a half of the two day, days. A day, and, a day and a quarter. <laughs> okay. I'll give okay. myself a little bit of grace. <laughs> um, it took me about a day and a quarter before I was like, they're just not out here. Yeah, we gotta and, and with you, obviously, yeah. you have a little bit fresher mind, maybe, and I was maybe a little bit married to the idea of <laughs> finding them out there, where it's like they're not out here. Yeah, and it's like okay. Well, well, we got out there. The you know we left early Saturday morning. Yeah, and we got Jumped out there. Out and started there. snowing, yeah. which was super sweet. Like Dude, I, I just beautiful. love hunting in the snow. Yeah, and, you know, got some. Uh, fun. We had decent winds. Yeah, and we had good, you know, film footage. I mean, yep. anytime you get people, you know, in the snow, yeah, bows it just looks slow cool. motion. So we I had mean, we had that going for us. Great, it's super cool looking great visual footage. Yeah, but so we got out there. We we walked around. We even found some tracks that we tried, you know, tracking for a little bit and mm-hmm. see if we could pick up any yeah. deer and just nothing. Yeah. And do we do we even see anything that first night or the first day? The first day, yeah, we did. Um, was it that night? Yep, yeah, it was that evening. Because basically, what we did is, is I had, like I had said with Dustin, kind of driving around, is I there's all these areas I had been to where I'd seen deer coming out for feeding, going back in. Allegedly, yeah. <laughs> I have other people who can uh, corroborate, co- corroborate, corroborate yeah. the 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 instances yeah. that we did see deer out there. Um, but so anyway, uh, so we we're driving around all these areas that I, I was familiar with and I'd seen, and then we drove to quite a few areas that I hadn't seen yet at, as well either. And so, um, after doing that and looking at, I mean, countless acres, yeah, you know, glassing, stopping, looking around, getting out. Um, it was like, Oh, they're not here. And so there were some other areas where, um, I had actually camped out overnight and I was like, well, there's a four wheeler trail that kind of goes through this wooded area. And, and, and by camped out, what he really means is where he had his bachelor party. Yeah. Years yeah. ago. Yeah. Almost happened? a decade. Well, my brother, Ben, if, if anybody wants the best, best man, uh, you got to pick <laughs> Ben because he literally, bachelor parties are usually like an evening. And, and Ben had a full, full day and a half of events lined up. I mean, it started out with paintball, uh, shooting, exploding targets, and going canoeing. And then going out to camp out overnight and then uh, doing a little hunting in the morning and, nice. and then calling it good. So this was an area that we, me and I think it was probably seven or eight of us, uh, stayed out overnight. Okay. And so it was fun for me to go back to that area anyway. Yeah. And but, find the yeah. old t-shirt that you probably hung up. That was that? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah there's old a t-shirt old... that was probably left by you guys. Yep. Yep. And um, <laughs> yeah, that would have been like seven <laughs> years ago now almost. Oh man. Six or seven. Anyway. Anyhow. Um. So anyway, we were we were walking back there. It was the first evening, right? And um, 
I didn't know that Dustin didn't know what a deer sounded like. Okay. Well, let's let's please, let's please. clarify this. Yeah, so, no, no, you go ahead. So, so I've so I've heard deer before and I've heard the typical, you know, snort and wheeze. Like I've, You've I've never, never heard a deer blow at you. Is I'm wondering. I've I've heard a deer but not <laughs> I've never heard the sound that I heard that <laughs> night and I could not for the life of me figure out what in the world was make that noise i'm like that had been i don't know like some weird bird or something that's yeah it, and I, and so i'm like five feet in front of ethan and we're like mouthing back to one another i'm like what is that i'm like dude get like stop and like it, i'm trying to get like, him to stop yeah, and he's trying to get me to stop and, and he's like that was a deer i'm like, like trying to I'm like, melt i'm melting I'm like, it quietly as loud as i can yeah i'm not understanding what he's trying to melt and i'm like no like what was that and I can't understand. Finally, I go over to him. I'm like, what in the world was that? And he's like, that was a deer. I'm like, no. What was that what, sound? What was that sound? He's like, that was a deer. I'm like, no. That other sound. Like, I didn't hear a deer. That other sound. That really and then did I sound. mimic, like, semi-mimic it quietly or something? Yeah, or something. Click, like, I don't know. And, and like, but it, as this, this argument is going on, and I wasn't trying to argue. I was just legitimately confused. confused yeah. Ethan was giving me this look of, like, what the heck like he's ready to punch me in the face like that was a stinking deer i didn't know how else to say yeah. it i was like i don't know what there's one sound there's like one sound we both just heard Yep. how are was, we confusing this so for weird. anything but a deer right now it was so weird Still. and we were trying i was trying so hard not to laugh when i realized you didn't because it was like a higher pitch <laughs> wings, which i had never heard because i've always heard the more the <laughs> yeah <laughs> Yeah, sound there, I've never heard. Whatever. There was a little more vocalization yeah. with it. It wasn't just and, air. And it was so finally when I saw it sounded the, like a really loud sneeze. Yeah. So when I finally saw the I'm gonna punch you in the face look from me, I was like, listen, I'm not trying to argue. I'm just stating I've never heard I totally believe you. I've just never heard that kind of Well, it was just so wheezing. funny because we were in like I was in this total like we went from a in whole, the a whole, yeah. We were in a whole day of not saying a single thing. The first sign of a deer we get, yeah. and Dustin's walking, and I'm like, yeah. <laughs> I'm at dead stop. We're on a little mound, and I'm like kneeling behind it, just trying to <laughs> figure out what's going on. And I'm like, wow, how are I'm we just not going connecting? Full the, Elmer Fudd mode. I'm like, how are we not connecting the dots right now, Dustin? <laughs> <laughs> this is so bad. It was terrible. So, um, <clears throat> did we end up sitting there that night? We did something similar to that, didn't we? Well, yeah, because we walked we walked a little further, and then two two does took yep. off. Yeah, which, which we determined. Which we don't think that they saw us. We had great. We had good wind. Yeah, the was, wind was in our favor. Yep. There's way too much brush, and, and we were walking on sand. Yeah. So there's so no we way they heard loud. us. And yeah, and and they didn't really look in our direction, and they took off two different directions. So yeah, we ended up going into that area. Um, did some exploring, found uh, some some rubs. Yeah, some f- relatively fresh rubs. We found a bait pile. We found a camera, and uh, so yeah, you went. Well, back. this well, what kind of like laying out the scene a little bit is like we're going on this four wheeler trail. Yeah, there's four. And there's there's kind of that that nasty, real small pin like blown over pin oak type stuff yeah. where it's real, real nasty to walk through even. And then on our left, we had more bigger wood, big ones. Yeah, it was, it was, it was an oak, kind of we like a, yep. an island of oak. Yeah, and, and we were basically walking um, towards a valley on the top of it, and there, there was kind of a, a finger on our right, mm-hmm. and then more of just like a, a flat plateau on our left. Yeah, and so in the flat plateau is what kind of had those the big yeah. the big woods in it. Yeah, and so this four wheeler trail kind of goes around. Yeah, the no, the knob of this before yeah, it, it runs the along valley. the east side of it, mm-hmm. loops around kind of the north, and then comes mm-hmm. back and dips around on the far yeah. west and yeah. heads south. And, and it's in big woods once you get to yep. a certain point. Once yep. it starts, it, it starts going around uh, the front of that thing. Um, and so we had, like you'd said, we'd found a scrape mm-hmm. to start, um, really fresh, like yeah. super fresh. Yep. And then, um, and so then we're like, you know what? Well. You know, we were running out of daylight. I'm pretty sure. Yeah. And so we actually, were, we didn't sit that night. No, we scout. We, we, we scouted, scouted our way. Yeah. Our scouted our way back to the road, but through yep. the big woods. Through the big woods. And so what we and had, we found multiple yep, scrapes. We found I think three or four. We kind of we kind of stayed like 30, 40 yards apart and just yep. took it real slow on the way back. Um, and we found different scrapes. You found some sign. I found some sign. We were kind of split apart a little bit and worked our way back out to the road. And we're like, okay, 
there's hot sign here. And that yeah. was the first real sign of anything yeah, that we the had. The only sign, the only deer we saw. Yeah. Well, we definitely had sign other areas, but nothing nearly that yeah. hot. And and no deer, obviously. You know, no deer yeah. that we had actually physically seen up to that point. Mm-hmm. And we were just on a two-day two day hunt. And yeah. so, like like we said, when we got there, we, we were there before light, just dropped the camper off. Um, well, we ended up having time to set it up, didn't we? Yeah. But the main idea was like, if there's daylight, we're hunting, right? I mean, mm-hmm. that's, that's what we're, we're like, we got to make the most of every minute. Um, and so after that point, where did we end up heading after that? Did so, we go so to we, that? so we ended up, we ended up going back to, cause it was, it was dark by that time. Okay. Did, I think maybe a few more minutes of driving. Sure. Sure. Yeah, um, yeah. then we ended up going back to camp, setting up mm-hmm. camp, mm-hmm. um, eating supper and going to bed. And we decided that next morning we we're going to go back to that spot, go in, mm-hmm. sit in the morning there, two different spots. You more yep. up in the kind of the south end of the hardwoods mm-hmm. over near a scrape. And then I was going to go f- further north. Take that same four, four, yeah, take four the, the trail, the trail and, and sit. Yep. And so. Yeah. So what do you, so for me, I didn't see anything but squirrels barking yeah. at me that was basically yeah. it yeah. and i was they were barking good at you yeah it was actually it was yeah. really obnoxious um and, yeah and so i was on the ground yep yeah we both were yep and then but you had you did have some yeah i did have that yeah point. i had the one encounter where i set up where i thought was kind of um kind of a kind of almost a little valley kind of on the top side of uh this one like little valley where i thought the deer would come up kind of almost mm-hmm. a little funnel. I mean, there was a trail too. It was right by one of the scrapes. So I thought, you know, maybe they were bedding down there mm-hmm. and they would be coming up. And so I was sitting up kind of in a little cove of trees. There wasn't a ton of ground cover in there. Yep. It was pretty sparse. And so as I'm sitting there, also at one point I had looked over and in the movement of looking, it was enough all of a sudden like up the hill a little bit was this doe who had seen me and then right as i looked she saw my movement gave me a couple of snorts and then just took off and that was the only the only interaction i got that yeah, morning that morning yep. yep yep um and so we decided uh we we met up right i mean yeah and uh and we basically i mean we went around and scouted a couple other areas yep. there was an area that was just um clear cut i think a year or two prior, and yeah. it was just tons of oaks everywhere. Yeah, we had been there the day before, yep. and the oaks were, the the mast was super plentiful. Yeah, I it mean, crazy. it was just like, yeah, it was insane the amount of the uh, droppings that it had. So yeah, it was, but, we're like, well, let's go look around. And it was one of those areas where, you could, again, you could yeah. see super far, really quiet entrance, yeah. um, good, pretty good cover. Um, and so we were, you know, high, kind of high hopes is every area we tried to go into trying to f- find deer up and moving, um, feeding, whatever. And, uh, we just didn't see anything yeah. anywhere else. I mean, we saw that grouse. Yep. <laughs> do you want to share that story? You know, we do. <laughs> so we're in the car, uh, we're, we're, we're in, we're in the, the truck. truck and I'm driving and, um, and we'd seen a few vehicles out there just in general yep. and, I imagine that they were kind of grouse hunting just off, you know, road. Yeah. And it's all logging road, so they're, they're good to do that. And uh, and there's a grouse maybe two feet on, into the middle of the road. And I'm like, dude, grouse, grouse. And we got and, like and my, 15 my, feet away from it. Yeah, my gun's my gun is put away and my buried in my backpack. So I go to start reach for that. Yeah. And while I'm like going to get my stuff squared away, <laughs> I kid you not. So the windows are rolled down. And Dustin, with all of his tactical well, life, Ethan's like, just, just take it, take yeah, yeah, it. Yeah. <laughs> and my gun's on my hip already, but I don't have one chambered. Yeah, just, just, I, I almost want to be able to turn down their <laughs> their earphones for this next part, just to like to illustrate how loud it was. But you'll just have to take my word for it, so you don't have to do that. But he literally John wicked this thing because <laughs> it was the loudest <laughs> racking of a slide I'd ever ever heard in my life it was uh, unbelievable the grouse was gone immediately it I, was just I, and i was like what and the, it was gone and we both started laughing because i was like what was that like you should have seen him he, you would have you would have thought straight up someone, john wicket you would have thought someone kicked down his home door and he okay, was this, getting ready to, in, in my defense i don't ever rack a pistol like i don't ever practice racking a pistol quietly to sh- quietly to shoot a, <laughs> yeah. shoot a grouse like yeah. i rack my pistol yeah 
because you know yeah well when that adrenaline not to shoot a grouse when that adrenaline <laughs> kicks in when that adrenaline kicks in like I that I want to give and, a loud clear concise and, and an absolute bloodlust takes over <laughs> I I I get it man I get it you you wanted uh, some grouse I'll, I'll work on my grouse, grouse my my grouse trial <laughs> cycle it was so bad. <laughs> Uh, so that was, that, was, that was good. Yeah, man. I think then that day, I mean, we pretty much just, I mean, we drove yeah. around. You had found. Um, well, we had found one other place where. Well, hold on now. Okay. Before we got to that one other place on our way there, we had seen some, uh, we had seen some big birds fly up. Probably, uh, well, there. I think there's a golden eagle there. And then um, either some crows or, or some ravens. And so we were driving down the road and I hopped out and checked it out. And it was a little oh, spike. That was uh, the other morning. That was the first morning. Are you sure? Yep. I thought that that was on our way to the... Uh, but anyway, this is, this is a while back, you guys. Yeah, we, we took that was some, the first we, morning. We took some time away. Anyway, um, but I had found a couple of deer carcasses, a uh, real small smike bu- spike buck and a doe. Smike. Smike, 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 buck. smike buck. So we call those ones. No, yeah. No, a uh, small spike buck and a, a doe carcass. Yeah. So I was like, well, we saw some deer. <laughs> I mean, that's because that was the first ones we yeah. actually saw. But we we did end up finding kind of right off the road this one little area, a bunch of. Um, did you spot a rub from the road? Yeah, it spotted a yeah a rub from the road. So I I jumped in real quick to scout out, and there ended up being a bunch of relatively fresh rubs all over in this area. So we had kind of marked it as a spot as potentially you know what if we don't see anything, we might just go back there mm-hmm. you know Sunday afternoon set up and see if anything comes in. Yeah. But in in talking and just kind of figuring out you know what. Like, let's just, we, we had a debate. Yeah, Cause, well, cause, let's, yeah. And, and it was tough because, honestly, like, our goal going out was, like, we're going out for a spot, spot and stock, stock yeah, experience. We, like, we that's what we wanted totally to. We Western Wisconsin hunt. We, we <laughs> both wanted to go out and do that. I mean, I love spot and stock. That, that's what gets my blood going. Yeah. And but, I'd seen so many yeah, deer. Yeah, you'd seen so many deer the year right. previously. Oh, it's but in, it's in, almost a given. <laughs> in, in talking, like, we kind of, as we debated back and forth, it really, for me, it, like, came down to, you just remember hearing, like, Dan and Felt talk about, like, well, find the hot spot. You know, yeah. find the hot spots, find the activity, and go there. Well, and this is, it, what's funny about this, too, is that um, we are like, it was probably, because we had the time change that morning, Sunday Oh, yeah, morning. we had this, yeah, stupid. Yeah, uh, it was brutal. Um, but it, it was going to be dark at 5, 5.15 or so. Yeah. And so a sucky week in the go hunting. <laughs> oh my gosh. And so, um, and so we were, it must've been what, two thirty or so. And we're like, okay, we don't have too much. I think time it was like on. two o'clock. And we're like, Rough. okay, well we don't have too much time. Yeah. If we're going to set up on a spot for the night. We got to figure out what we're doing. Yeah. And so we talk a lot about, um, well, maybe don't talk about it on here much yet, but anyway, like virgin sits and how important and how high odds those are compared to the, any other sits, mm-hmm. Right. And we had been through that place twice because yep. we we went there the the evening prior yep. and then that the morning, morning and and we saw deer both times. Yep. And then the next time we were going to go in, we were kind of we were actually walking in there, and we were still uh, I was still flip flopping. I'm like, do we go to this other place? Mm-hmm. You know, and and just set up on the hot sign there if we can find more. Um, and and I didn't get out and look at that particular spot because I was glassing to the right yeah. when we when we were there. And, uh, and that was the first time you would really, like, I'd seen you really kind of, uh, like confidently be like, you know what, this is where I think we should set up and, and, and here's the reasons. And we were both like, yeah, let's do it. That makes sense. Yeah. And one, and, and the thing was too, is you had seen that morning you, you had thought, I think that you, uh, had seen a scrape even further in yeah, yeah. on there was the a, trail. Like an absolutely fresh scrape that, yeah. that it had happened that morning. Yeah. You were like, it's, it's yeah, hot. It's and hot. so. And so with that, we're like, okay, we started looking at it. We pulled out the, the the map on Onyx and we started looking at it and we're like, okay, this trail wraps kind of all the way around. Yeah. Um, and so we can go in there and just push further than where we've walked yeah. so far. So that our scent, excuse me, and then our, so our scent, um, we're, it's not going to yeah. be somewhere we walked already. Yeah. Because I thought, you know, when looking at the, the, the topography, I thought maybe that the deer were, had been, were being bedded further back. You know, kind of further north in that area, and so I was like, "Well, more towards, more towards the, the base of that hill, though, off the knob, yeah, right? yep, off the base of the hill, because it looked there's a nice hard, like, like yeah, some pines and a nice hard, good transition areas, yeah. And so I thought, you know, why not? Why not? I mean, we're only here, yeah, for a few more hours. Why not push it? Let's yeah. go where we, yeah. at the very least, no deer are, yeah. Between so, the amount of hot sign we were finding, yeah, and 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 what was 
I remember we were walking back there and we we're both like trying to figure out where we're going to set up because we were mm-hmm. going to set up a part a little ways. Yep. And, um, and I was like, okay, well you being out of state, I was like, dude, whatever you think is the best odds. Like, uh, you know, even with the stocking side of it, if we got to that, I was like, you have more money invested in it. So mm-hmm. I want you to have the first opportunity. And, um, and so you had taken the, the, the first spot and I was like, I'll go kind of on the other side of this. And I remember before we split up, I was like, I think like, I'm like, this looks like really good dough bedding, um, kind of on the top of that hill and all that blow down nasty stuff yep. that I was like, I can't imagine them walking through that from what we could see yeah. anyway. Um, and so I kind of walked around this four wheeler trail that started to curl back towards the road and I'd found this dead log and I had sat on it facing, um, I was facing would have been west, I believe. Yeah, west and uh, doesn't really matter. Yeah, I suppose. Yeah, <laughs> we're not yeah. putting up a map for yeah. reference right now, are we? <laughs> so anyway, I, I was uh, my back was to where I had said yeah. I thought there might be good doe bedding is what matters. Yeah, yeah and you were and, about what fifty yards from me, I think roughly. Uh, yeah, it was about fifty yards from me was the crow flies, and then straight ahead of me was the four wheeler trail, mm-hmm. and I had seen some good tracks on there, and then also some trails that kind of went down the hill, and yeah. so I was you kind of hoping that. Uh, they would find their way on one of those as I was going. Yeah. And because our thought was they're going to be coming from the north of us. Yep. Well, and we'll have to walk past us. Yeah. Yeah. And I thought I was hoping that they would be either coming down, like I would catch one coming down the other trail. Yep. Um, from the opposite direction we walked in because yeah. I'm like, dude, our scent's all over that area. I yeah, don't think they're they going to walk yeah. across that and be like, no and, problem. And where I was set up, I was set up right on the tip or the top part of the hill where kind of right near uh, a scrape on the top of the hill. And then there was another scrape like 25, 30 yards down the hill. Yeah. So at that Uh, point we had six scrapes. No more. We had like six or seven, like almost 10, I think. Really? Like there was like a line, like we were every so far. Yeah. It was this, it was hot. So, um, so we're sitting there and I think you did the first, uh, calling yeah. sequence, right? Yep. First calling sequence. So you did what? 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 Uh, what did you do on your? I, think I just, mean, I could hear you. I think it just did, you know, some grunts and couple uh, wheezes. Mm-hmm. Were you raking at all or no? Yeah, I like did. Yeah, ground? did some raking. Okay. Yeah. And so he's raking, and you know, I'm sitting there, and it wasn't more than two or three minutes later. My back is sitting towards this the area I was kind of mentioning that looked like doe bedding area, but I just you couldn't see it so thick. Mm-hmm. And I happened to look kind of over my shoulder. Now I'm seated both feet on one side of the log facing, and I have just two lanes, 30 yard lane and 20 yard lane straight ahead of me. Didn't even like think about how to set up for behind me. <laughs> Rookie mistake. Um, and so I see this doe coming in. And there was this, and I'm, I, you know, I look over my right shoulder. I see the doe coming in. I need to somehow do, and it's within probably 12 yards of me by this point. And I need to do a full 360 and draw my bow and stand up without making any noise. So one thing I did do correctly ahead of time was, is I basically scraped the ground to dirt where my feet were so nice. I can move without it being loud. That's what I did also. And so when I was looking over my right shoulder and just kind of observing the deer's pace and uh, as it was walking and kind of just turn my head as much as I could to kind of peek at if there's anything that would obstruct its view that I could kind of turn back to my left and, and stay crouched and then draw and then stand. Yeah. And there was one tree that was kind of bent over sideways. It's probably a six inch log and it was probably chest height. So kind of right at the deer's, the deer's uh, eyes would be. And so I is I'm like okay the deer should be there I'm either busted or you know I get a, hopefully an opportunity here, and so I just I slip my butt down to my heels on the log and I just kind of pivot and slide my feet around as best I can, and I get turned around and I'm my butt is basically touching my heels I get to I full draw and I'm not sure exactly where the deer's at because it's just so thick and it's all it's within it's got to be within 10, 12 yards of me still. Cause it was just kind of moving, um, uh, left to right. And so I slowly start to stand up and I get about halfway up and I see the deer and there's no shot. It's just, everything's covered by brush and another foot and a half. If the deer took another foot and a half step to the right, then it would have been 
Smoke City, <laughs> it would have been a, it would have been a real nice viable shot. But um, she she had, she caught me me moving when when I started on. to stand up. Not my from at least as far as I could tell, it wasn't yeah. for me turning around or whatever. It was when I started to stand up. Then she kind of like jolted and looked at me and was trying to figure out what's going on. And I waited, and then she just went straight away. Didn't step mm. into that opening. And I was like, oh, crap. <laughs> and so, uh, and, but I was fired up because I was like, yeah. dude, we, you know, and so now I'm like, this is, this is unreal. I can't believe like that. That is awesome that we had just had that encounter yeah. and it was within just a few minutes. And like, I, I've been kind of experimenting yeah. with grunts and, and just deer noises in the woods yep. and my thoughts of like, I want to see how this plays out where it's like, if they hear noise, if they, you know, hear deer noises elsewhere, are they more comfortable to move? Yeah. Are they less locked down? Because we came in there quiet enough. Yeah. That deer was within 30 yards of both of us when we came in. Yeah. It must have been 30, 40 yards. 30, 40, 50 yards at the most. Like, yeah. And so we, we walked right yeah. by the yep. bedding area. Yeah. Cause we kind of actually wrapped around where she was mm-hmm. when we were getting into our positions. Um, and so anyway, that was a mature doe. And then we ended up, um, and then I waited a few minutes. Yeah. Well, because you had messaged me and yep. told me what had I happened. Like, I was like, oh, man, dude, just yeah. have a pass. And I was just like, ah, oh, super, super excited for you. Mm-hmm. And then a little bit later. I did a calling sequence. Yeah. You, know, you did a calling sequence. And all of a sudden, I'm sitting there and all of a sudden I hear, a, what in the world? And so I messaged you. I was like, what? Was that you? Yeah. And yeah, sure enough. So I had, I had now been doing a lot better job of checking over my shoulder, but it's only <laughs> been what, five, 10 minutes. Yeah. I think yeah, no more than 10 and, and another doe and it was a, it was a yearling. I think, um, another doe had started to work its way straight in the same path. The, the, I assume mama doe was on and, um, excuse me and then uh it was probably 30 yards away when i saw it and so i had a little more time to maneuver and be a little more calculated and it was kind of zigzagging and there's putting some trees in between us and so i was actually able to um i was able to get turned around uh stay squatted and then slowly start to stand up get to and i was at full draw the deer had not seen me yet and this little doe was kind of working its way towards me and it got to maybe, and I'm just waiting. I mean, the the windows I'm looking at are like a foot or two of opening. Yeah. And if you, I actually have a video on, uh, that was a GoPro mounted video. And if you look at the video, the, the vital, the, basically the deer is basically cut in half by super thick brush as far as like the chest. Mm -hmm. And so I, that deer came in and it stepped into that opening and I just ripped the shot. And I know that I, I for sure was not like, okay, controlled process. Like we talk about yeah. practice. I was like, Oh no, this is the only opportunity I got to shoot right now. <laughs> and that, and we heard this huge, and it was a huge thwack. It was a huge thwack. And I saw the arrow. And as soon as I saw the arrow and where at least I believed it hit, yep. I was like, that's not good. Ugh. Cause it was right. It was below the spine. Cause if it was spine, the deer would have been definitely over. And then, um, but it looked like to me above, like it was right in like what people would call the no man's land Yeah. and hot button issue. Everybody let's all start hitting the hot <laughs> topic. Okay. Um, anyway, so we're going to say it was in the no man's land and where that is, where that would line up is with the cartilage of both shoulders, front shoulders. And we think, because I thought because of the, the smack that yeah. you, well, it you was heard, a loud you heard smack. It. Yeah. You're like, and you're like, dude, that was like you, when we that talked was later, loud. like that was way louder than your bow. Yeah. And I, yeah, I mean, my boat is loud. Too distinct. Oh, yeah. It's, a, <laughs> it's not a recurve, so it is loud. Uh, it was too distinct. Like, there was your bow, which I've you know, kind of used to hearing. Yeah. Uh, but then even a louder, just just almost like a smack. And I, 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 by the sound of it, I thought after the arrow had passed, because I had a full pass through, um, I thought the arrow actually hit like a, a solid log or something on the mm-hmm. other side of it. Because I was like... That was so loud. It was loud. It was unreal how loud that was. Yeah. So. And so, so as soon as the arrow hits, and as far as I could see, and I know it's hard to remember everything perfectly, but looking at the, what video I did have, it looked like it, it sort of lines up with what it would have been. Yeah. And and and, um, 
And so I watched the doe run away, mm-hmm. tail up. Everything looked like there was nothing that, you know, you've seen an injured mm-hmm. deer run, right? I mean, I, I was like, oh man, it looked just totally normal bounding yeah. and just was not, not stopping to check out what was going on behind it. And so, uh, and so my heart was a little, I, I, I was like excited because of the encounter, Yeah. but from the, the hit, I was like, ugh. And so I went over um, pretty much right away because we were, we were within less, what, 45 minutes of dark maybe? Yeah. Maybe 45 minutes or so. Yeah. And I went over and I looked at the arrow and I picked it up and there was some blood, but it was mainly just fat yeah. and some hair. And I was like, oh, no. Yeah. And I've showed that. I think I posted the the video of of that arrow and what it looked like and kind of put a poll out there of like, mm. all right, well, what do you guys think? You know, where do you guys think it's hit? And a lot of people were were, were pretty good guesses. Um, but nobody was like, oh yeah, vitals, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Not guts, yeah. not vitals. Yeah. Um, basically really anywhere but that. And yeah. so, um, we, we, uh, we looked at the arrow. I wasn't feeling super good about it. Saw a little, basically I only started to see blood towards the fletching yeah. and it was just kind of smeared, nothing yeah. super significant. And so we had also decided to wait cause kind of going mm-hmm. back and forth on that and figure, well, let's wait a little bit. Mm-hmm. And so as we're waiting, I was just sitting there. Honestly, I wasn't even expecting to see any more deer, especially after that. Yeah, because didn't you make a third call after I, I think did I that? I did make a yeah <clears throat> another call. Because I remember we were like, dude, after every call, we saw a deer. Yeah, because, yeah, I did make another call because not even 10 minutes later, I'm looking, and downwind for me coming up my – actually, trip. it wasn't quite downwind. Like, mm-hmm. it was – uh I think it would have the wind would have barely missed. Kind of a crop, like a marginal yeah, wind. Yeah, marginal wind. But this all of a sudden this doe came walking down my path, like down our path. The trail us, that yeah, the trail that we, that we came in, in for on the last two days. Yeah, was not expecting any deer to come down there. All of a sudden I look over and there's this doe and she didn't see me right away. And I'm in this funky position and I figured like if I can get turned around like a uh-huh. complete one eighty <sighs> If she continues to walk down this, like I could get a shot off at like five, six yards away from me, which I, that would have been really sweet. Like I would love to, I mean, that's kind of been the goal, like to get just a super close encounter. And like, as I'm moving and I'm trying to move and I'm on the ground and I'm moving, I'm kind of tucked down behind these ferns. She caught a little bit of movement, yeah, but she didn't like sort of thing. She got curious did a couple little stomps yeah. and like started walking closer and she got within seven yards of me, uh-huh. five to seven <sighs> yards. And it was like really curious doing the whole kind of like yeah, head, head bob, bob and yeah, weave yeah, yeah, yeah. and like yeah. looking at me like, what, what in the world is that? Like, what is this? And I was super curious. And then I think there must've been like a little like wind shift or something. Cause then she, she caught and snorted and just then took off and she was gone. And I couldn't believe. I, and I was like, at I the time, because I, I was like, uh, what just happened? And I'm hunched over. I've got my bow in my hand. I'm like, I'd gotten like 45 degrees or 90 degrees turned around. I'm just like super hunched over, trying to just <laughs> keep her from, you know, seeing anything. But yeah, she, once she caught that wind, she was out. That is so. Uh, it's, yeah. it's gut wrenching. It is gut wrenching. In the moment. Yeah. And but then in hindsight, you're hindsight, like, okay, it was maybe. actually pretty cool. Yeah. Yeah. So, so, so yeah. Yeah, we, we didn't say anything. And so we went to track your deer. And uh, <sighs> dis- disclaimer nobody should ever call me for tracking help because my, my, the slight <laughs> color blindness. So yeah. The slight so color bad. blindness that I do have totally screws me over. I can, I have such a hard time seeing blood red yeah it, it's basically um, doesn't <laughs> there's a couple times i'd be like where's the blood like, what are you, i, I cannot like, what are you see talking it talking about and i was like, like dude you're, you've gone crazy i literally had to like pick you're up the thing and bring it bring it up to him for him to like see what yeah. i was talking about yeah. um so so yeah we 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 tracked it and by we we mean you yeah dustin was my last blood yeah. guy so to speak the, yeah the marker yeah, so he would he would stand at last blood, and then I would I would try to find the next the next little bit, and uh, man, I there is I there is very few things that are as disheartening as not being able to find 
a deer you shot yeah and coming to grips because the trail was going decent i mean for well, quite a while so what happened was is is um so i'm using uh iron wheels which it's a two blade with bleeders and so it's not gonna instantly put in this you know three inch hole on the deer um no rage in the cage rage stuck in the cage <laughs> <laughs> triggered <laughs> no um so anyway uh, but I had seen the direction of the deer's travel. And so we kind of, we followed where the, we thought the deer walked and we did end up picking up blood about 60 yards later. Now we, as we were following the blood, it slowly got a little bit better. And mm-hmm. everywhere that we saw blood was basically how far I could visually see the deer as it was anyway. Yeah. But obviously, you know, taking our time. And for the first probably 20, 30 yards, it was pretty scarce. And then the, the next, um, probably 60 yards it started to look good yeah it was it was bright bright red yeah not a ton of it and even the bits we were catching was like drops yeah and it was and and this deer was going through tight uh, bushes and nothing was rubbing off yeah and so it's not like there's this excess of blood just around and so it was really it was pretty disheartening and pretty difficult track yeah it wasn't like my deer last year where there was just Dude, that Weird, was like unreal. a bloodline along both well, sides had, of like, all spray trees. Mist from yeah. the instant it touched the deer. <laughs> um, and so so we followed that and we got to the it started to really taper off, like really taper off mm-hmm. in the next 40 or so yards, 40, 60 yards. And um we got to this point where there's it kind of the deer had, you know, as far as we could tell, maybe three different options of routes from last blood. And just try to follow these natural trails as best we could and really take our time and, and pick these apart and could not find any yeah. more blood on any of those trails. And I just had Dustin stand there and I just scoured kind of going forward, um, even, you know, probably 50, 60 yards past. And then I come back and then check out the next trail, come back, check out the next trail, come back. Yeah. And I could not find anything. Yeah, there was and, nothing. And, and it was just... Yeah, it was really tough. It was really tough. And I know there's plenty of people yeah. out there that know the feeling. And there's probably plenty of people who would, you know, always argue you can do more. And there's plenty of people who might do less. I don't know. But um, definitely something where I was like, well, I just wounded a deer. And yeah. it was definitely a gut check as far as, you know, you're that close. And I don't know. It's it's, it's tough a to, sucky feeling. It's super sucky. Was super there, sucky was feeling. Last year. And- so I could totally, I totally knew what you're feeling, and and that's, that's a sucky way to end the hunt too. You know what sucks? There. You know what was really brutal is about sixty yards into the track, uh, you saw a dead deer. Yeah, I did see. Yeah, you cause, saw a coyote. Because like kill I'm looking, I'm like, wolf kill. I'm like, that looks like is that a deer? Like, is that hair over there? Yeah, because like it just had that that kind of grayish brown hue of this body. I was like, what? And sure enough, yeah, it was a dead doe. But yeah, but it, it wasn't was our a, dead doe. Yeah, it wasn't ours. Nope. <laughs> No, it looked like uh, some uh, coyotes so, or wolves that got into it. Yeah. So, um, yeah, so, man. So that that kind of uh, a bitter, bitter, sweet. Bit more bitter than sweet. Yeah, definitely more bitter than and, sweet. That and, trip. Uh, end of the trip there, but um, yeah, it was a pretty silent ride on the way home. It was a silent. Ride yeah, we home. hooked up everything. It was pretty much bare. Bare uh, minimum on the talking front because both of us had some, we had both some, of our emotional, some mentality, our own things emotional to work issues. Through. Yeah, yeah. But um, I was really excited, and, and I know for me, like going out into those kinds of trips, it's like my hope and expectation is like one really good encounter is what I hope for. Yeah. And for it being such a short time, for it being so vastly different than what we expected. Yeah. I was just really, really happy that we were able to. with the help of each other be able to change the like hey this tactic of them out in the open clearly isn't working (laughs) we need to find them where they are and quit hoping where they are and and start figuring this out differently because what we're doing is not working clearly yeah you know what i'm saying like just odds would tell you if they are out here we would have seen one yeah and (laughs) we we weren't seeing jack squat exactly or both days yep so yeah so So that was good i thought we worked well yeah you know yeah definitely some for, for the most part some trial and errors yeah you, know, you but, think um, you think i got a little annoyed with my my I'll heating right system back. issue so oh my goodness it was so bad oh never mind, we're good we're good yeah sorry all right i thought my watch was going off which no that's that's my watch oh, okay yeah um 
Yeah, that was probably one of the funniest things. So I started running. Oh uh, I started running first light gear this year. Oh, it has nothing to do with the it, gear. Yes, it does. Let's 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 it, get it. It has to, everything to do with just my. It's so hard to to try to figure out like how how to dress when you like might sit for a while uh-huh. or you might be hiking for a while. Like they're really and and for me, everybody's different. Anything you have to accept this reality. Everybody's different. And I just get. It's a, I like I get warm super easy, but and then I get cold super easy, and so I, I've I just have a hard time like there's <laughs> unless I can dress for one or the other like I can't, I can't dress for sitting I can't do it and so like we'd be walking and to cool off I'd have to like unzip my my five different layers and well it was like the thing is is that like cold, I I consider myself I like a, I I consider myself like super. I sweat really easily when I start yeah, moving. But, do you, but you don't get as cold as easily as I do. I I want to. What are you talking about? You don't know me. You don't know no, me. <laughs> oh my gosh. No. And and this is about me. This isn't about you. Basically, okay. So all other stuff aside, um, the only thing what, for me that was nice during this whole thing was the only layer I had to change the entire time I was out the two days was I put a puffy on underneath the outer jacket and that the the shell jacket and that was it yeah for sits um because we weren't sitting for like a super super long yeah. time um but when we were walking i remember like us walk we were walking up this hill and i kept hearing like zip zip <laughs> zip 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 zip, zip, zip. My, my and I, I was like i was and we'd stop you know every 10 feet because we were going pretty slow and i just kept hearing and i was like what is going on and i look back and like the mid, like zzz, I look back and he's zipping and unzipping is like 14 layers that he has on. And I'm like, I didn't even know you had that many layers on. And I started, I just started laughing so hard because it was just really funny to me for some reason in that moment. It was some nice comic relief from not seeing anything. Cause I was like, I was legitimately like puzzled at the sound. And then I turned uh, around, I was like, oh my gosh. Do you just, have that I many just, layers or is it I like do. the changing that much for you? <laughs> Where it's I like have that many zip, layers. Zip, 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 zip. It's about the regulation. <laughs> yeah. Someone's got to do it. But uh, it overall, was funny. overall, it was a good trip though. It was fun. You know, we got to hang out. Mm-hmm. I don't think it was um, ultimately what we had hoped it would be. Yeah. I yeah. think part of that too is probably the, you kind of determined the lateness of which we went out compared to what when the I, times where you've gone out in the years yeah. past. Yeah. Yeah, I think so, that seemed to be a big part of it. Um, for me, definitely, it seemed like uh, it didn't occur to me, I guess, until a little bit later that I was like, dude, I think every time I've been coming out here, it had been way earlier in the season. Yeah. And then the food source had switched like, oh, yeah. Changed dr- dramatically. dramatically. And I don't think there's a ton of people who are out there archery hunting. No. And so, because I, I know there's people who hunt bear back there. And I mean, there's just, you know, and they're driving around shooting grouse. Yep. And so... I think once that starts up and people are really getting into that, um, they they're probably in the hardwoods. Yeah. And I just had not been out there in that time frame and experienced them just being absent yeah. of the open. And I think being a little, lot more, a lot more detached from that previous experience, I was yeah. just ready to be like, "Well, this is where I see deer sign. Maybe we should just we should just go there." Yeah, yeah, and yeah. that's I mean, ultimately, that's ended up what we what we did, and I think as as sucky as it was that we spent as much time as we did driving around yeah we wouldn't have known without doing yeah. a lot of that but then also like it kind of reinforces what we've been learning as far as like you especially early yeah. november it's like find hot sign and, yeah. and hunt it yeah like, i just kept push, hearing push the limit. dan infold's voice of find that hot sign and yeah. push it and, yeah. and the thing too is like we're like hey it's this is the only time we're hunting out here because yeah. well, you were like oh, well, i don't want to ruin this like, yeah, yeah yeah i'm like ethan we're only here for the rest of the afternoon we're not ruining yeah, anything this is <laughs> this is this is it and and like i kept i was more worried about like that we had been in there the last two days but then i was a lot more comfortable when you're like dude you thought you'd seen yeah. like a super fresh scrape back there and yeah. it's like and we were here yesterday and it was not there yesterday, yeah, yesterday. it was like all right well Let's get in there then. Let's yeah. go after it. And so that's what we did. Yep. And uh, we really, we both had some some near misses and one really unfortunate. Fortunate hit. pass through. Yeah, I was stoked about the pass through. I mean, trying to <laughs> clean, see the silver <laughs> lining here. Um, yeah. But it was, uh, it was definitely 
It proved that your broadhead selection was a good one. Yeah, you know. Because you know, had it been a <laughs> cage, rage, rage cage, oh. um, it would have been, you know, mangled and worthless. So, Or maybe not. Maybe it would have hit the artery. We don't know. <laughs> Or it would have been stuck. There's an in artery the cage. that runs up there, man. It could have. Uh, it could have done the job. We don't would have know. Gotten stuck. Yeah, uh, maybe, maybe not. But that, at that at that range. But you know, did it not confirm truthfully. to you that hey, it was actually worthwhile spending the money I did on these broadheads because you pulled it out and it was. It was just as you know, almost was, just as sharp. Yeah, there's a slight burr on the. Um, oh man. Slight burr. Uh, hold on, send it back. It's slight burr on the worthless bleed. piece of crap. Slight burr on the bleeder blade, and so I was I was good with it, and it was still actually pretty sharp. Um, I would have I would have contacted Iron Will and complained about that slight burr. No, that's I, I'm just saying that they're you know they're not perfect. It's just for what had just happened. That's pretty amazing. Yeah, that's pretty amazing. And I was like, all right, well, I can do I can definitely deal with that. And yeah. then also, I remember like before I started getting into the fixed blades, a big part of it too was actually uh saving saving money ironically. And <laughs> yeah, you got to spend money before you can save money. That's right. I was like if I can get, you know, two to three uses out of one of these heads, I've I've saved money because <laughs> I each rage a blade that I had used prior uh, had bent basically after every yeah. use. Whether I hit it or missed, which was missing mostly, um, and so they were junk after I used them one time. So I was like, "All right, well, I'm you know if I can get a, a time or two out of these, then it's going to be yeah. worth my money because I'm not buying a whole new package here." So, and so far, so good. Yeah, dude. Um, so I kind of we we did have a we'll go probably more into the emotional side oh, of it man. at a different time. <laughs> And just kind of what we had learned more in depth. That just kind of recaps the actual yeah. timeline of, of what happened. And yeah. and we'll probably go into the lessons learned a little bit deeper um, another yeah. time here, if that makes sense the to lessons you. lessons that, yeah, Dusty was learning. And Dude, it's tough. His emotional breakdown. It's hard stuff. Ethan, I mean, ready to smack me around like. I mean, uh, we can, we can, we can yeah. clue into this a little bit, but <laughs> I was, it, it definitely, it was trying for me. And I, and I mentioned to the this to you before um it was definitely it was it was a weird thing for me because i was like oh this isn't the dustin i know because when i go out and hunt it's for me it's like nothing but positivity like you have to stay like this is just my mentality like you have to stay that way or otherwise your hunt's already done yeah because as soon as we start dragging our feet as soon as we start thinking they're not around the next bend or not just over the next hill or around the next tree is when they blow at us and we we lose. And a lot of times when you're doing that, they see you anyway. Yep. And so it was there's a couple times where it was difficult for me not to say something. I just tried to I was just trying to stay mm-hmm. positive. Like yeah. it just takes one. It just takes one. one. But obviously as we've as we've talked we've and, and we'll explore yeah. um later, there's there's a lot more to it and a lot more going on than than what there I was is, seeing, if that makes lot. sense. Yeah. So, so. It's, it was, yeah, it was, it was a good time overall. Yeah. It's a good trip. Um, I'm looking forward to taking a trip next year, hopefully for maybe three days. Dude. Yeah. Know, earlier oh, in the season. Man. Yeah. Well, we know where we're going to start looking for yeah. sign when we go, but so. yeah. All right, man. Well, let's, uh, let's wrap this thing up. Uh, yeah. Where can people find us? Uh, that's a good question. I've even forgotten where we can. Yeah, find Yeah, I don't even know where we can. No, so, I think uh, I think we are, uh, we're still good on Instagram. Yeah, you know, we, Facebook, Instagram. We're most active. Yes, I would say because you know Instagram and then Facebook. You Facebook. can like Venator Chronicles podcast, and then there's a awesome. Venator Chronicles community. Yeah, and that's just where it's a private group, but you know, pretty much everybody's approved. Yeah, it's just so we can boo people if they're disrespectful as long or, as you're not a jerk yeah we want you part of the community and we yeah. it's just a great, great platform to share and hear other people's stories and mm-hmm. to learn and laugh and listen and love yeah. and all that good jazz there's been some there's been, there's some, been some, some cool good stuff, stuff. Yeah. yeah there's been some really cool stuff um, and then obviously if you're listening to this podcast whatever platform you're on Podbean yeah. iTunes yeah. and then there's seriously a host of other ones that yeah. I don't remember we have linked it yeah it's all it's all in our bio on Instagram and then um, we'll also have it listed on the Facebook page so appreciate you guys listening it's uh it's been fun yeah. and we're good to be back yeah it's good it's really good to be back and we got a lot of stuff that we're excited to share with you guys and uh just really appreciate you listening yeah. and tuning in hope you guys are having a great hunting season and we will catch you guys soon all right peace, peace out, out.